I was 18 when I was injured, and I have a spinal cord injury at T12, and that's a pretty poignant time to have a change in your sexuality. So I lost sensation from the groin down, and at 18, that was really a big deal for me. Uh, I was still a virgin, and I was really, 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 really looking forward to changing that status. So this has always been a very, very major topic for me as a person with a disability. And once I became involved as a writer and a speaker and a teacher and advocate, this has always been a primary topic for me. So what I'm about to talk about comes from personal experience as well as research and involvement with the community. And the more I have spoken and learned and considered this, the less it's actually been about disability. So I think as I go through this, you're going to really realize that I'm going to be talking a lot more just about relationship and the nature of intimacy. But how you, what you discover about that in the context of disability is really where we're going to go and I think really fascinating. But the first question is actually, who says you have to have sex? In other words, asexuality can be an option. There are people who are going through a lot of traumatic change and adjustment, and just they have the feelings, but they make a choice that, nah, this is not the time. I got too much else to deal with. Or they're satisfied in their life. They have loving, intimate relationships in their world. They have a sensual experience of the world, and they actually feel satisfied. And this is the test, whether or not your needs are getting met. Because the other side of that line is somebody saying, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to bother going there. But inside, they're actually feeling the need for touch, for love, to love and be loved, for sensual experience with a partner. They want it, but are afraid of going there because of issues around their disability, their sense of self. So they're not choosing asexuality as a bona fide choice. They're choosing it because they're really afraid to take the risk. And it is a real risk to cross the line to find out what's actually possible for them. But the proof is out there, and it is so, so clear. People with disabilities of all kinds, all degrees, all ages, all kinds of people have found loving partners to be with where they please each other and they have authentic, meaningful, productive, satisfying relationships. So it's a choice. And sometimes it does take some courage to go there.